Live with Achha. Welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Muhammad Yassir. I'll be your examiner for this part of the test. This is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System taking place on Thursday, the 11th July at TESOL IELTS Exam Center. Center number BD361, the candidate is Lamir Rahman Rosa and the candidate number is 43321. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is your full name? Lamir Rahman Rosa. Okay. Uh, and what should I call you? Please call me Lamia. Lamia. Good. May I see your identification, please? Yes, yeah, sure. You may. Thank you very much. Okay, Lamia, here is your identification back. And I'm going to record this test for evaluation purposes. The speaking test has three parts, you know. I'll give you instructions for each part of the test. For part one, I'd like to get to know you a little about yourself and ask you some questions on general topics. We'll talk about computer. Okay. Do you often use a computer? Well, not really, but I do have a laptop and I think I get all of my works done in my laptop because I think it is so feasible to use and I can use it anywhere and everywhere and it's also portable. So yeah, I prefer using a laptop over a desktop computer. How do you usually get online? Well, I usually get online via my mobile phone because I think I can carry it anywhere and it's just a small thing to carry. So, yeah, I have all of my social media handles over there and I can just easily go online by using my mobile phone. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about leisure activity. Yeah, sure. Uh, what's your favorite leisure activity? Well, my favorite leisure activity would be writing different things in my journals because I believe that if I write different things and if I can express my feelings and sentiments and you know whatever it is like I want to talk about my feelings and I want to share it with someone since I am more comfortable you know sharing it with my diary and my journal so I usually write all my feelings over there and I think it just makes me naturally very happy after doing that so yeah that is my favorite thing to do okay uh, what did you like to do in your spare time as a child? Well, I think as a child I was very curious, I was mischievous, I was a naughty child. So most of the times I used to play with my different kinds of dolls and I remember I used to act like I'm a doctor and then I used to play with other kids of my age and then we used to play different kinds of roles for example sometimes it was about being a doctor sometimes it's, it was about being a teacher and then we used to play different kinds of games and that was the best part like we had so many games back then and yeah so these are the kind of activities I would love to do back okay. in my earlier days. Uh, do you like to spend your free time with other people or alone? Well that's an interesting question but I guess when it comes to my personal opinion there are many activities that I love to do alone because I believe I am a lone wolf and I'm a one-man army because every time I'm going through something, every time I'm feeling something, I believe I need to process them by my own and by feeling comes healing. So I am the kind of person who just wants to be all by herself and I want to explore different kinds of places by myself. So I would prefer staying all alone and do things on my own. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do most people in your nation have two days off a week? Yes, in our nation there are two days off, which is a Friday and a Saturday. And I think after a long and busy days of walking and studying, they finally get some time off and they can reflect back on their life and they just can do really fun activities and they can really make the most of their time. So yeah. Those okay. are. Do you think leisure time activity is important? I think absolutely because at the end of the day if they do not have their peace of mind they will lose all their sanity and I think leisure time activities are so important because it gives them their peace of mind and after a long 
and hectic day of work. I think every human just deserves it. And no one wants to work like 24 seven, like they really need to focus on what's going on. And they sometimes need to spend time with their family and their friends. So I guess it is very important. Okay. Uh, let's talk about weather. Okay. What type of weather do you prefer the most? Well, I think I'm the kind of person who's always dependent on weather. It's like my mood changes like every two seconds, like whenever there is a change in the weather. So I would personally prefer a cozy, cold day because I love winters and I just love to dress up in winter. And I think I am the kind of person who loves the concept of just grabbing a cup of coffee and then just feeling the chills around me and I think it is so perfect if you can take a walk in, a, in an amazing winter day because it just makes your soul soothe and you can just really vibe around. So I think that is my perfect kind of weather. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the weather like in your hometown? Well, I think the weather in my hometown is mostly a combination of both hot and cold. Sometimes when it's like really summer then it gets really really hot and like people suffer a lot in those times because they're always sweaty and sometimes they have to cook and a lot of pressures however when it's winter it's very cold like they literally shiver and tremble all the time so I think it is a dichotomy however I think it is good in a sense because they can really enjoy different kinds of weather so mostly it's the summer like the hot and the cold versions of weather. Do you prefer dry or wet weather? Well, I would rather prefer a dry weather because sometimes if it's wet, it is like a hassle for me to go to different kinds of places. Sometimes it is very muddy and it makes our clothes dirty and sometimes it just gets really moisty and greasy and I really don't like that. So I think if it's dry and if it's calm and if it's cold, then it's a perfect weather to just hang around and go to different places. Okay, that is the end of part one. Now we'll continue with part two. Okay. For part two, here is a cue card I'm going to give you okay. a little later with some questions. and uh, You cannot turn that over till I tell you to. Here is a special paper for you. I mean, it's a note paper. You can take notes if you wish to for one minute. Okay, and here's a pencil for you. And the cue card I'm going to give you. You have to describe an exciting book. You have to describe an exciting book that you recently read. Please tell me when you read it, what type of books it is or they are, why you found it exciting. So here is your card. And I'll tell you the starting and ending time of your note taking so your note taking time starts now Okay, Lamia, your one minute preparation time is up. Please start speaking. All right, so an exciting book that I recently read was Looking for Alaska. It was not really that recent, but it was back in 2016, and I would still call it a recent book that genuinely amazed me since we're talking about an exciting book so I love the book so much because it is so amazing and the book was a different kind of book for example it was adventurous it was about teen love and romance and it was also about the complexities of human life because we are all 
extremely biased on stories that has a happy ending and we want it to be that way but john green is a distinctive type of author like he focuses more on certain stuff and he keeps it extremely raw and authentic and practical and sometimes mind-boggling like i never expected it to be that way but it turned out to be completely opposite from the way i thought it to be so i guess that was the best part of this book that it was unexpected it was really amazing to read and the most important part was it was easy for me to understand so if i have to define this book in a particular way then i would say looking for alaska is an iconic book definitely because it's a new york best times you know the best seller book and i think it is tragic it is sad it is heart wrenching it is beautiful but then again it is so painful but it also made me realize in one thing which is at the end of the day pain creates art and i think it was something about this book that it was painful but it was also really marvelous at the same time i had a lot of questions on my mind because what happened at the end of the day there were so many suspenses and it was really going to a different direction a different dimension the constant dilemma that i had to go through was mind boggling so i guess yeah that was the best thing about this book okay rosa i'm going to stop you there your 2 minutes speaking time is up okay uh, please pa- pause back the note paper the cue card and the pencil please thank you uh and now you will continue with part 3 okay uh for part 3 i'm going to ask you some more questions related to the topic uh of part 2 are you ready to begin yes sure okay uh, do people in your nation like to read books i think people in my nation they are very big book worms i think they love to read books and they admire different kinds of authors because every year in 21st february we have a book fair where different authors the readers and different intellectuals they come and meet it's basically a meet and greet session so you can already understand that how much people love to read books and it's a huge crowd you cannot even imagine like there are so many people they're sharing their different interests they're talking about philosophy and books and there's so many books and there's so many writers in our country so i guess yes in my nation book reading is an amazing thing what books are most popular in your country well i think it has to be about the genre romance because i think people love to fall in love here and they want to read more about how the complexities of relationships happen and how they can overcome it however there are certain genres that writers are introducing with her nation which is the psychological thriller the philosophy behind different kinds of thrilling actions and i also believe that they really love to read books about different kinds of mystery or detective books so these are also quite popular because if we talk about feluda we have seen how much response it got so i think people love to read this kind of books in my country as well hmm. Do you think reading is important why or why not I think reading is absolutely important because at the end of the day reading makes us more knowledgeable witty and a smart person and we will have a lot of knowledge about different kinds of things from a different angle so i guess reading is so important and it enhances our brain and our thought process because we think in a different way like I believe that people really need to wire their mindset and their thought process and they need to think about certain stuff in order to understand something right so I guess yes reading is very helpful when it comes to enriching our brain do you think that giving a book as a gift is a good option I think it is the best option because if someone gave a book to me in my birthdays and if I really loved the book then I would have definitely blessed them their whole life because if it's a good book it will stay with you forever and something that stays with you forever means it is precious right so i guess if a book is really amazing and if it touches my heart and if i can relate with the book then i think it is such a precious thing to give someone as a gift other than that i believe if they read this kind of books and which is 
you know, given to them from a special person. It also contains lots of memories. So I guess, yeah, it is a very good gift. Do you think that children should be encouraged to read books? I think children should be encouraged to read books because if they can grow by, you know, they will grow up as a different kind of person because if they like to read more books, they will know more and they will definitely understand certain things from a young age because I believe reading is a kind of habit that they should master from their childhood. And if they can master it, they will grow up as someone who is really intellectual and who has a vision for certain things. And this vision, I'm telling you, is so important in life. So I guess children should grow up with this kind of amazing habit. Which one do you prefer? Reading books online or reading a paperback book? Well, I think reading books online is a good option that they have introduced and we can literally read books from different kinds of PDF files. However, I feel like the smell of the book when we first get them and the way we read it it's just perfect but when it's an online book there's so much hassles like you need to scroll and then go for it i as a bookworm wouldn't like the experience i would love to read a fresh you know like the fresh first copy of it and i would probably love that concept so i think i love anything that is old school so yes i would prefer these kind of old books which is handwritten or printed rather than an online book so yeah okay reading online is getting popular okay what is your opinion what can happen in the near future in terms of reading well, I believe that if people are reading online, then yes, they have a lot of options because at the end of the day, the world is changing and we are coming into an era where we are using a lot of technologies and we can literally carry our technologies everywhere because we carry a mobile phone. So they cannot carry a book all day long, for example, because if they're at work, then it just doesn't seem feasible but if they are carrying a phone and if they have the book in that phone in the PDF style then they can just read it anywhere and I think yeah it is good if they are developing this habit at least instead of using their precious time on social media they can just read a book and make the proper use of their time because knowledge is power at the end of the day okay that is the end of part three and that concludes your speaking portion of the IELTS exam You'll have your results in about two weeks' time with uh, other portions of the test. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. So, dear viewers, Amra J record ta kullam. It is our IELTS speaking module complete ta course Amra record korchi. We are almost done actually. As a video ta diye shesh hotse. To ekhane total 83 lessons thakche. To 25 lessons thakche part 1 er upore 25 lessons thakche part 2 er upore 25 lessons thakche part 3 er upore ebong 11 full length mock test thakche jemon ekta amra ekhane sample dekhalam ebong roza ebong ami ei module ta ready korechi roza is an ielts instructor at tassel bangladesh among Amra, uh, oh, basic it another seven lessons for right? exactly like details the note taking yeah. details, every precise information. I'm a hard work or a team speaking. If I'm just being honest, and if I don't want to brag, uh. I would be very honest today. Well, I think this is the best course Bangladesh has ever launched yeah. because Amra Ato effort diyechi, Amra Ato Beshi effort diyechi. I guess we didn't sleep for 10 days and we were working on contents because we care for you. Amra Apnadir Kotha Chinta Kori because there are so many people they want to go abroad and have a better life but they don't know how to get a perfect band score. Yeah. So what are you waiting for? And I believe it, it won't just make them a perfect IELTS candidate, it will make you a charismatic person. Yeah, like, Jokun apni kotha bolven, naturally people will be very attracted the way you speak because I'm a bhabi am under course gulu design kore chi. I'm a research kore amra jazi nishta diya chi je amra bole chilam je note taking e kintu kub shamosha hai. True. So, note taking e ek minute e key note ni te habe amra pochishta part 2 te abong ekhane agarota full length te tamane pray. 14 kasa kasi tester note down. Note down. Amar kotha hotse. If I'm just being a little informal today, 
আমরা নোটটা কিভাবে নিতে হবে যে আপনি কি ফুল সেন্টেন্সে লিখলে কিন্তু আপনি সেটা এক মিনিটে জাস্ট একটা লাইনে লিখতে পারবেন হাইয়েস্ট এক দুইটা লাইন পরে তারপর দেখা যাবে যে আপনি ব্ল্যাঙ্ক হয়ে গিয়েছেন আপনি কি বলবেন সেই জন্য কিভাবে বুলেট পয়েন্টসে নোট নিতে হবে আমরা কিন্তু সেটাতেও ফোকাস করেছি নোটটা দিয়েই দিয়েছি আমরা এক্স্যাক্টলি পুরোটা দিয়ে দিয়েছি না এন্ড আই এম ভেরি মাচ লাইক আই এম কনফিডেন্ট দ্যাট নো ওয়ান হ্যাজ লাইক এভার ডান ইট বিফোর সো এবং আপনার এই কোর্সটি ভালো লাগলে আমাদের আরো তিনটে যে মডিউল আছে সেগুলো আপনারা কালেক্ট করবেন আপনাদের টিচার আসল দরকার নেই এটা এমন ভাবে তৈরি করেছি আমরা দোয়া চাই এবং স্টুডেন্টরা খুব আশা করে কোর্সগুলো কেনে কিন্তু বেশিরভাগ ক্ষেত্রে আমরা দেখি দেই গেট ডিসঅ্যাপয়েন্টেড এক্স্যাক্টলি দেই গেট হিয়ার এক্স্যাক্টলি নো চান্স নো চান্স এবং আরো একটা জিনিস বলে রাখি আমাদের আইএলস স্পিকিং মডিউলের উপরে অডিও সহ একদম ফুল লেন্থ অডিও সহ 100 টেস্টস এর অডিও সহ আমাদের একটা বই আসছে আমরা দুজনে এটা লিখছি তো এটা ঈদের পরেই ইনশাআল্লাহ চলে আসবে সো ওই বইটা যদি টেক্সট সহ পাবেন আর এই ভিডিও কোর্স ইনাফ ইনাফ মোর ইনাফ ফর ইউ টু গো সো আইএলস এর কি কথা চিন্তা করলে টেসল বাংলাদেশ কি চিন্তা করুন we really serve our students and the best thing about us is that we are really authentic people will have a lot of questions je shotti outcome pabo to ami bole dicchi shotti outcome and best results pabe so inshallah and i hope to see you guys stay tuned with us yeah. for a better right. and thanks and for watching future. your life as well thank you Bye-bye. take care assalamu alaikum